Hi, and welcome to a Action Script 2 tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the very simple things in Flash. And if you're an extreme beginner, like you don't know programming at all, I'll try and make it easy for you too. Just tell it as is. So, you might not even know where the Actions panel is. Well, if you don't, and you don't have it up, you can go to Window and Actions or press F9 and the actions panel should show up. I have mine grouped with all these and I find that easier. But you can have it how you are and that's just how I like it. So this is the actions panel. All is is a big text box pretty much. But over here you can see that there's an arrow and when you click on that you can find that there's a lot of helpful things like all the global functions, some properties. You might want to fool around with those in your free time. So anyway, this is what I have set up. It's a welcome screen, and you type in a password. I'm going to have a button right here that when you press it, it's going to check if the password's right. And if it's right, it goes to the second frame, where there's a secret area. If it's wrong, it goes to the third frame, which is the wrong password area, where you'll be able to retype the password. So, the first thing we need to know is, right now all it does is start playing the animation because there's no script telling it to stop. I'll show you. Running the animation. And this is what it does. It just plays an animation of all the frames. So, what we want to do first is we want to stop. So, over here, you can click on global functions, timeline control, stop. You can click on it or drag it, but drag it in where you want it in your script and it will say stop. Now this is how the syntax is supposed to be, or how it's, how you're supposed to write it. The word stop, and since it's a function, you usually put parentheses around it, or after it, I'm sorry. So if I was typing it, it'd be S-T-O-P, start parenthesis, that'll show a little hint, end parenthesis, and then always do a semicolon. If you don't have the semicolon, you can click auto format and it would put it anyway. It's pretty lenient, Flash. Anyway, once I do stop, I can run the animation, and instead of just playing the entire thing, it'll stop on the first frame the welcome screen. So this box right here isn't just any old box, it's an input box, an input text box. In the input text box, we'll have a variable. In the variable, I named phrase, which would be like the passphrase. And I made a box around it. So this technically says stuff that's in script. The variable is phrase. So phrase contains whatever's typed in here. So if you want to access whatever's in here, you tell the script to access phrase. I'll show you. It's a trace function. So in the script, you'd write trace, and then you do a start parenthesis, and then you tell it what you want it to trace. So we want to trace phrase to see what phrase equals. Now let's say we have phrase being password. That's what phrase is now. Now since it's tracing phrase, it should trace password. Watch when I run. Up here in the output, it should pop up and say password. Good. So, now what we want to do is we want to make a variable in the script that is the correct password so we can change it easily var correct fr fade phrase <laughs> equals let's say we want it to be banana so the correct phrase is now banana and we can go ahead and trace the correct phrase and up here let's say banana so when you're making a variable for the first time, you use var, which just states that it's making a variable. 
So, we can also change what's in here right now by using script. We could say phrase equals hello world. And when we run it, that will now turn into hello world because we tell it to. Phrase is the data and we change the data. And that's showing what the data is. It's pretty simple. Now we need a button, so I'll make a button real quick. It's a rectangle tool. Make a button on the screen. You select it and convert to symbol. You can do this many ways. You can F8 is what I usually do, but when you convert to symbol, you can name it, which is just a name that will appear in the library over here. Make sure button's checked. If it's movie clip, it won't work how you expect it. If it's graphic, it definitely won't work how you expect it to. So make it a button, because that's what it is, and press OK. It'll appear in your library, and you have it as a button over here. Just going to align it in the center. So now that we have button, we can click on it, and it will have its own actions panel. Up here in the frame, when you click on that, it'll have your script. When you click on the button, it'll have the script for the button. We want the button script right now. So when you have a button, you want to make an event. An event meaning when something happens to it. Like if you click on it, you press it. So what we could do, and this is what we normally would do, is we'd click on the button and, then, and say on, start parenthesis, and it gives you all these options. We usually use release when we're using a button. On release, and then we do these awesome little brackets. The brackets are important because whatever's inside the brackets is what would happen when we click on the button. We can have it trace, hello. So on release, whatever's in here would happen, trace hello. And if you click on the auto format, it'll format it to exactly how it should be. Now let's test it. When we click on the button, it should trace hello. So when you click on it, it traces hello. Pretty simple. But we need to check if the password is right. So what we'd use is an if statement, which is simply if, and then we have parentheses, and what's in the parentheses is what it would check. And then we'd have brackets, and whatever's in the brackets is what would happen if the statement here is true. So what we need to check is if phrase is equal to the correct phrase, then go to the secret area. So if the phrase is equals, you do two equals for if statements. If phrase is equal to the correct phrase. And the correct phrase, remember, when you click on the frame, var correct phrase equals banana. So it's just checking if the phrase is equal to banana. If phrase is equals to banana, then we want it to go to and stop on frame 2, which is the secret area. Go to and stop 2, you'll find that simply in the timeline control with all these, and it would be the second one down. Inside the parentheses would be the frame that you want it to go to. So, here we are. If the password's banana, when we click on it, it isn't banana, so it shouldn't go to frame two. It should do nothing. I'm clicking on it, it's doing nothing. But if the password is banana, I click on it, it should go to frame two. And that's really simple script. But if it's not true, and it isn't banana, we want it to go to this frame, the wrong password frame. So what we do at the very end is we type else, and the else is whatever, if this isn't true, whatever's here isn't true, 
then do what's ever in the brackets. Else, brackets, and whatever's in the brackets, do it. <laughs> so if phrase is not equal to correct phrase, we want it to go to and stop on frame three. Now, if this is confusing, then you can go over it, uh, but I'm going to move on. I'll show you if the phrase is wrong, I click on the button, it says wrong password. So, now we want a button on the wrong password page that lets you retry it. So we'll make a retry box. Make it a static text box. And on the button, we can just change the script because I copied and pasted. We can just change the script to say go to and stop one. Now you can fool around with these and make it on rollover or something. On key press, enter. You can have it multiple things on key press, enter, or release. So when we have the wrong password, we can either click on it or we can press enter and it would go to this frame. Very simple. And you could implement more script to make it say what your password was by copying that, pasting it, moving it over. And since, and since it's an input, you can still change it. So I'd change it to dynamic, which means now you cannot change it. I'm going to right align it and make it so that it's not selectable or it doesn't have a box around it. And make sure it's variable as phrase. So it's, so I guess you can say it's another way of tracing the variable. So let's say I typed in hello, which isn't banana, so it's not going to the secret area. I click on it. It says wrong password. It says hello is the wrong password. But if it's banana, it goes to the right password screen, the secret area. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you understand Flash a lot more. I'll have more tutorials soon, and bye.